Hey guys, it's Courtney and welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking about The Sculptor from Tarte. And I just picked this up pretty recently because I have been wanting a contouring like bronzer pencil. And this one was kind of like the only one I could really find from Ulta that I thought I would like and that was reasonably priced. It was $24 but a little definitely goes a long way and so it looks like this. It's like a little jumbo pencil kind of like those lipsticks and it does have a twisty thing so that is very nice. You don't have to do any sharpening which is perfect. So I've been wanting something like this to more contour my face even like deeper and more defined than just a bronzer alone. So that's why I really wanted to try something like this out. This is the first product of its kind that I've tried out and normally I really do like Tarte as well. And what's great about this is it's great for your cheeks, it's great for your forehead. I like never contour my nose but I kind of want to start experimenting with that um, just on like occasion and stuff so that's why I picked this up. And at first I really really thought it was going to be kind of difficult to blend and it's not at all. Lately I've just kind of been using this really small like Real Technique stippling brush and kind of using the edges just to kind of like buff it into my skin. Um, this one also works well for Real Techniques. I suppose you could use a regular contour brush but I don't want, I usually know, use this one for powder so I don't want it to get like this kind of pencil consistency on it but I'm sure you could. You could use a lot of different brushes. You could kind of maybe use your fingers and get away with it but it's very easy to blend. I was super worried about this. Um, it's a bit harder to blend around my hairline like up here just because of all these little baby hairs on my head it kind of like gets stuck in it but um, for my cheeks it works flawlessly. I really like it. The only downside to it is it has a bit of a red undertone to it. But overall this is a really fun product. If you've been looking for something like this I would recommend it. I want to know what other like contouring pencils are out there. Please let me know if you've tried one. The only other alternative I could think of is getting like a foundation stick and getting a darker color and doing that like the Bobbi Brown one or the NYX one or there's quite a few out there now. But let me know if you have a contouring stick and if you've tried this out or if you tried out another one because I would love to try out some more to have more of an opinion about them and be able to compare like something like this against other products as well. So I hope you all found this video somewhat helpful and I will see you guys soon. Bye!